Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So the other day I was looking on the Discogs app and I decided to look at my collection and sort it by the value. I was just kind of curious to see what my most valuable expensive records are in my collection and I was kind of shocked by some of them. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to go through my top 10 most expensive or most valuable vinyl records in my collection based on the median value. I have the top 10 records sitting right here beside me so I will be sharing the median price and maybe I'll share like the maximum price as well because that could be kind of interesting because honestly these aren't too crazy. Like the maximum prices were way crazier to me than the median prices so maybe I'll just share both. Coming in at number 10 is Miley Cyrus the time of our lives. This is the Urban Outfitters pink and purpley splatter pressing. I don't think you can get this anymore which is probably why it's a little bit expensive. I also think this is the only pressing of this album that is out there. I could be wrong but the median price for this on Discogs is $50. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it but I feel like Maybe it was around that. I'm honestly not entirely sure. Can I find out from my sales history on Urban Outfitters? Will it tell me? Okay. I spent $29.98 on this, which is less than the lowest price that someone paid, which was $39. So I guess I got a good deal on this if people are paying $50. And the highest price is $88. So that is crazy to me. I mean, this is a wonderful record. It's one of my favorite Miley Cyrus albums. Plus the pressing is just absolutely stunning. So like I understand why people are spending a lot of money on this. So yeah, this is coming in at number 10. Okay, so this next one said that it was in the ninth spot but when I click on it it's actually cheaper than the Miley Cyrus one so the next one is the feeling of falling upwards live from the Royal Albert Hall by five seconds of summer I haven't even like told you guys that I got this yet I haven't done like an updated record collection or anything but I got this for Christmas and it's just a standard black I don't know if they did any pressing variants for this album but yeah it's just the live recording of their show that they did at Royal Albert Hall the median price for this is $47 although when I like click out of it it says $49.89 so I don't really know what that's about. But the highest price is $97. So like I said, I did get this for Christmas. And I'm pretty sure they got it off of Amazon. I think it might have been like 40 something dollars so i probably did pay roughly around the average but honestly i understand why people would spend a lot of money on this it is stunning the actual like record sleeve itself is really really pretty and then also just like the record itself is stunning i'm not normally a live album kind of girl but this one it gets me it is so so beautiful they have like a full orchestra with them it is Stunning. So then coming in at number eight is another Urban Outfitters Miley Cyrus pressing and it's Miley Cyrus Can't Be Tamed and this is obviously the black and gold dipped pressing. So the median price for this one is $52 and I think I can check how much I got it for. I paid $36.28 for this pressing. The highest for this one is $117 which is wild to me. I mean, this is, again, one of my favorite Miley Cyrus records, so I completely understand why someone would want to spend a lot of money on it. Plus, again, this is one of the, like, coolest pressings in my collection, and it really does match the vibes of this album so perfectly. So I'm very happy to have this. I haven't listened to it in a hot minute, but I love this record a whole lot. So we have Five Sauce Five, which is their newest album release. I do have the Urban Outfitters Limited Edition Candy Floss Vinyl, which is so, so stunning. The median price for this one is $55. I think I can also to find out how much I paid for this. I paid $34.98 for this record off of Urban Outfitters, so that is lower than the average price. We love saving money. And the highest one for this one is $90, but again, it is so stunning. The beautiful, like kind of like pink marbly pressing is so beautiful and again matches the vibe of the album so perfectly, which is why I knew I had to have this one. So this is one of my favorite records that I own. This next one I was a little shocked by because I feel like they did a really pressing of it recently and so I feel like it became a lot more like common and easy to find but it's four by one direction this is just the standard black pressing this is not the cool urban outfitters one so I was honestly shocked to see this on the list but the medium price is $58 and the highest is $88 which is just 
wild to me. I love this album so much and I think the only reason why I'm shocked at it being on this list is because I feel like it did get a repressing recently and it's not like a fun exclusive pressing either. I'm kind of shocked that it's on this list and I'm kind of shocked that it's like this high up on the list. I was also shocked to see some of these ones. We've got a few Taylor Swift ones in a row here. So the first one is Speak Now, a Taylor's version. This is the violet marbled vinyl, which is really hard to see. It kind of just looks black in this lighting, but it's really pretty. It's the really dark purple. It's stunning. There were quite a few pressings of this one. I'm not sure if this was like the first one that was announced. I kind of get all the purples confused in my brain. The median price for this one is $62 and the highest is $106. My parents bought this for me for my birthday last year. We just got it at one of our local record stores. I think maximum it would have been was like $50 but that's because like it is a 3 LP so naturally it's going to be more expensive but still lower than the average price. But yeah, love this album a whole lot. Love this pressing. All of the pressings for this album were stunning. Maybe I just don't know anything about records and how hard they are to find because I also didn't expect to see this one on here but it's Fearless Taylor's version. Again, just like the standard like gold pressing. I think this was the only pressing for this album but the median price for this is $70. $70 with the highest being 110 I definitely did not spend anywhere close to either of those prices. We are down to the top three now and a couple of these ones are not as shocking to me and this one I guess is a little bit shocking because it is like a limited edition but I feel like I also still see this at Target all the time but it's red Taylor's version and this is the red Target edition but the median for this one is $87 with the highest being 129 Again it's a 4LP so I do understand understand it being more expensive. So coming in at number two, this one doesn't shock me that much, but the actual price itself does shock me. But it's the Lemonade Mouth soundtrack. This is my newest record. It's also an Urban Outfitters pressing, but it's on this beautiful lemonade color vinyl. It is stunning. I'm obsessed with it. I think I pre-ordered this and it was on back order for quite a while, but the average price is $117 with the highest being $138. I did not realize that people loved Lemonade Mouth that much to spend that kind of money because even the lowest is 116. I bought this for like regular price off of Urban Outfitters. I spent 39.98 on this record. So the fact that the lowest on Discogs is 116 blows my mind. This top one did not surprise me at all because it is a record store day one. This is the only record store day vinyl I have in my collection. And it is the Guts the Secret Tracks vinyl. It's on this beautiful purple pressing and the other side has like a beautiful like butterfly engraving on it. So I do understand because it's a record store day. The median for this one is $163 with the highest being $235. That's crazy. $235 for a single little record that has like, what, six songs on it? Four songs. It has four songs on it. That's wild. $235. Couldn't be me. I got this for Christmas. Got it on record store day, which I didn't even do intentionally. We just went to like a regular record store. It wasn't like an indie or anything and it was just there in the front of the store. It was wild. I was not expecting to get this, but we just got this retail. I think it was like 30 something dollars and I love it. It's stunning. And she did release these songs on streaming recently, but she like re-recorded them. So they sound different. So I'm really happy to have the original ones on this record. It's beautiful. It's stunning. I love these songs. My favorite is Obsessed and Scared of My Guitar. But yeah, those were the top 10 most expensive records in my collection. Some of those were quite shocking to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Comment down below and tell me either the most money you've ever spent on a record or tell me the most expensive record in your collection. Subscribe if you have not yet already and I will see you guys next time. Bye!